Hello everyone, and welcome to Jeff Robert One tutorial on how to publish a free HTML website. Today we'll be needing needing to use triple zero webhost.com and a dot tk account. Alright, let's get started. Firstly, you'll have to go to triple zero webhost.com. Now we will want to click on sign up which is on the right hand side of the screen. Now you type down a domain name and type down your name. Choose a password that is at least 60 symbols long or more. Tick I agree to terms of service and type down the capture. Then create my account. Oh, whoops. Type down a email. Then type down the capture. Create my new my account. Now go into your email. Oh, shut um. Okay, once you're in your email, you click on confirm your registration. So there'll be a link. Right click, open link in new tab, and it should be coming up loading. I'll be back when it has started. Oop, here it is. So now your domain name is officially building. So what you do now is you click on refresh status. And I'll come back when it's ready. Once it has, it is ready. There should be a box saying domain name, status, and action. Underneath status, it should be saying active. And underneath action, it should say go to C panel, also known as control panel. Click on that. On your right hand side, you have your account information, your username and password, and the server name, IP address, the Apache, and all of that stuff. Now, we want to go on to your few account details. And it tells you all the things that you need. It will tell you website builder details, file upload details, website details, and the name server details. I'll be back. Okay, what you need to do now is go into getting started information. 
Once you have done that, you can go to go to if you already have a website created, you have to go down to use web based file manager to upload your files. Click on file manager. Now that you have done that, it will come up with a login. You will have to type down your username and password. Okay, once you have done that, you need to go to a public HTML. And delete the folk.php. You tick it and press delete. And then press it green tick. And then press the back button. Now that you've done that, you can create a new file. Now you en enter your code or upload your code if you already have a pre made code. I'll quickly create one and I'll be right back. Once you have done that, press the save this. Oops, we forgot to name our file. Press the press go back button. button. Sorry guys, I'll just be right back. Yeah. Once you have typed in your code, enter a new file name. Call this home, indexed or whatever you want. Right html or .php or .html but for me I'm going to be typing down home.html you have now saved it it should be saved file back forward slash public new dash html backslash home.html now press the back button Now that you've done that, copy your domain name that you have just registered, paste it into your favorite web browser, click the index of and then home, and there's your website file. Now you will have to copy all of the domain name, go on to dot dot tk enter sorry that my um, internet is slow click on shorten url paste the URL, press on the go button, and then we're about to says register a new domain name, you type down any domain name you desire, that will be .tk, and then you can register at the length, type down your characters that you see in the picture, and then click the sign up button, and you have officially uploaded and created a website, and it's up and running around the world. For more information about this tutorial, please visit, visit jeffwobbert1.webs.com. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.